What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, you guys? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's go ahead and let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon. Now, last night was the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, which means that tonight is the Whether You Like It or Not season finale. Tune in on Simply Sakina's platform as the six of us and probably a special guest or two come together to talk about last night's reunion. This is a big episode to watch because this is our last episode until we go into hiatus and we will be back for the Real Housewives of Potomac. So we'll be gone for two months. So make sure you guys tune in tonight on Simply Sakina's platform. When the link is available, I will put it out there for you guys to get. There won't be a new episode of Roaster Review because Love and Hip Hop Atlanta will be on hiatus this week. But make sure you guys tune in on... Friday on September the 15th as Boys Night Out returns for their second episode. Tune in as Scotty, T, JoJo, Jamar, and Maddie come together to talk about some music, some movies. Uh, we play in games, we talk about celebrity gossip, and we also get into all things gay. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, Let's talk about it. Now, this is coming from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And as you guys already know, Drew and Ralph had a bit of a face off um, this pre on this particular episode last night at the reunion. There was a lot of accusations made. There was a lot of rumors talked about and all types of stuff. So they had a lot going on pretty much last night. And apparently the stuff continued on Twitter. So let's get into it. Now, Drew Sedora went on Twitter and said, I'm really intrigued on how Courtney, Courtney is having raps back and now so close. It kind of makes sense that she lived in Tampa. Mm, that's what a lot of us were saying, Drew. We all felt that way. Like, let's be honest. We all felt as though, you know, Courtney knows Ralph way more than what she says. That is not her cousin. Okay. Very much so. Now, after Drew went on and said that, Next thing you know, we, we go back to Twitter and Ralph has some tweets of his own. So Ralph came out and he said, and this is all coming from Truth, all True T. Shout out to Monique, okay? She got this all and put it up there for all of us. So this is what he said. Ralph Pittman said, I've loved my wife with all my heart and supported her tremendously behind the scenes. However, I don't understand. No, however, I understand that it didn't translate on the show. I'm here today because I have a responsibility to my kids, my family, my community, and my supporters. The show is supposed to exhibit real life. However, slander, playing the victim, damsel in distress, and acting tainted the truth. There are three sides to a story, and everyone deserves the complete picture. I don't understand the attitude Drew just randomly came had randomly had coming into this reunion. Drew asked me to sleep in her room the day before the reunion, only to switch up. I tried to allow her to leave the convo with Andy since she's trying to stop the divorce and now she's acting like someone different. I'm confused. My only goal was to speak the truth. I believe it's dangerous when someone can create a story to intentionally hurt someone. We both knew that the message was a catfish. It was sent to me on Christmas Eve and I never responded, just like Kenya said. The person took a screenshot and sent it to Drew 10 minutes later. If it were real, they would have had some dialogue between us, but there was nothing. For Drew to know the message is fake and consciously try to try, choose to show Andy as if it's real, it's dangerous, and it's damaging. This is how innocent people go to jail because men especially are guilty until proven innocent. This has happened a lot over our relationship and on the show. Imagine if I wasn't at the reunion to defend myself. Wow, at least Drew was being honest with Andy about going to Dallas. She told me her mom got her a ticket to visit her dad in Chicago. For clarity, I initially found out Drew was having an affair through her assistant, but they weren't trying to hide their relationship. I understand she was looking for something I obviously wasn't providing, and I apologize. Ultimately, I want Drew to be happy, and I wish them well. I hate that adoption became a storyline, especially since it's so sensitive and complicated. I stepped up to be a father figure in JoJo's life, and I plan to never abandon this role. He's blessed because he has two dads that love him. This isn't a competition. Then he retweeted when someone said, I would have been mad too for my spouse to bitch the entire dinner after I planned a big romantic evening. Time and place for everything. Okay, so I don't even know why the hell he uh, 
He did that. But anyways, that's pretty much all of the tweets from Mr. Ralph Pittman. And y'all know I love me some Ralph only because he looks good and I think he knows how to fuck good. That's the only reason why I like him so much. But I don't like his attitude and I don't like the things that he does to Drew. I feel like all of these tweets that he has made in this situation is all a form of manipulation. And I feel like he doesn't want to take accountability for anything that he's doing. And I just feel as though it's the I feel like it's the I think that is wrong. I don't think that um it's cool for him to be acting like that because he's really walking around here acting like Drew is I don't I don't think Drew is acting. You know what I mean? I don't. I think that this is really how she feels about this situation. I really believe that. And I think that it's foul and it's up for him, you know, to even be out here trying to play her the way that he is. Like, he has shown himself to be a complete gaslighter from the moment we met him and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't, I don't quit it. I don't like it. And I think that he needs to quit it while he's ahead. That's just how I feel about it. I think he needs to quit while he's ahead. I think he needs to stop while he's ahead. He's not doing himself any favors in this situation. He's just not. And um, you came on this show and you made yourself look like a complete fool. You did. I don't know why he believes that he can fool the people. We see you from a mile away. You giving toxic uh, Aquarius energy. Like you're, you're being a complete gaslighter. You are being completely manipulative. And you getting on here with these tweets trying to prove your point and you are not proving anything at all. All you're proving is that you love humiliating your wife. All you're, all you're proving is that you don't like your wife. I've never seen a man who truly don't like his wife. Because I don't give a f what nobody say. He don't like his wife. He don't f with his wife. He don't give a f about his wife. He don't care about his wife. That's how I see it. That's very much so how I see it. He don't give not one f about Drew. He don't. And that's just the truth. And that may be something that we have to understand that you know what i mean that's something that we that's something that we have to realize and get but he doesn't um Ralph ain't never been nothing but a person to play on drew's mind um and i will say in the sense that drew did kind of allow this to happen but at the same time there's really no reason for anybody to blame her I don't think that it's right for anybody to blame Drew for anything. I think that she was only trying to be committed to her husband, but she was just committed to the wrong one. And we all have been committed to the wrong person. Um, I think he feels as though Drew is up. He it, Like the way that he's putting it out there, he's putting it out there like Drew is just out there acting. And um, he needs to come out and, you know, give his side of the story or – you know, that because he because he's because in his words, he's saying that Drew is creating a narrative that isn't true. So he got to come out and go to the reunion, not only go to the reunion, but come out and make his tweets and say whatever he got to say to prove his point. You know what I mean? But I think that they're both, in a sense, playing games. But um, I just I just wish that. um I just wish that we had more to, to go with because I don't know if you guys know or not, but I was supposed to um, actually interview Drew. I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but we was actually supposed to do an interview together. Um, we got the, you know, I talked to, she she DM'd me. I talked to a team. I just been waiting and I was just wondering, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe they're waiting for the reunion, but I don't know, but this may not be no good time for her to be doing no interviews anyway, because her dad died and I don't really feel right, you know, doing all that. But at the same time, you know, I just, you know, it's 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 crazy that Raph is even out here doing this. And then for him to have Courtney to be the one to speak on his behalf is even more uh, disgusting. But, I mean, disgusting is disgusting is. I mean, it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm not team Raph on that situation. I'm definitely team Drew. Um, I really hope that Drew comes out of this very well. I hope that she comes out of this um, healed. Because she may be broken now, but I really feel like she'll heal in the process as time goes on. So I'm rooting for Drew. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you could be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my IG, and my TikTok will be down below. Make sure you guys follow me on IG. I got a goal of hitting 10K followers on IG. So if you haven't followed me on IG, go ahead and do so. 
I'm getting there though. I'm at 8K right now. So with that being said, child, your boy's up out of here. And um, I will leave you guys with the promo for the chasing panel, which will be starting this fall. I'm Scotty by Nature TV, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.